Hey everyone, Drew Dillon from Project Lift. When I say start position for the snatch or the clean, does it bring a question or an uncertainty to your mind? If it does, you're gonna find this video extremely beneficial. All right, the start position. So let's talk about a real simple process that's gonna get you set up without a lot of thinking. We wanna think about this as a routine. So instead of thinking of a million things down a checklist, you just start to get into a routine the same way each time you approach the bar. When you step up to the bar, what I want you to think about is seeing that bar over where that big toe connects the foot, that knuckle. So not the toenail and not walking all the way up to where it's against your shin. Get it set where it's over that big toe uh, where it connects to the foot. Like from there, you're going to get your back set and you're going to unlock and sit to the bar. So sit down to the bar where you can grab your grip and get set up. This is going to get your back set right off the start in a good position and then take that slack out. And remember that slack is just that space between, you know, the bar and the collar between, you know, in your joints and your arms, you know, push up with your legs a little bit. So you're nice and long on the bar and you're set and here you're in a good spot to come off the ground. So if you follow just this simple little process of getting set up to the bar each and every time, you'll be in a good position. You know, often like to think of it like a, a space shuttle launch. If you're heading for Mars and you're a couple degrees off at the start, where are you going to end up? It sure the hell isn't Mars, right? So remember, when you get into that good set position, that's what we're looking for. Common mistakes when we see people applying this is they'll get that bar too close to their shin, that'll set their hip up a little higher, or they'll just be incorrect on getting sat in. As you can see, what we're looking for is kind of an elbow-knee relationship where that knee's not sneaking behind the elbow, but we're able to sit down into the bar, just like you saw here at the beginning of the video, and um, the weight's in the full foot right? So we have our full foot loaded and we're not just towards the heel. We're not just towards the toe, but you have a bit of weight priority around that uh, midfoot to ball the foot area, but your heel's not coming up, your toe's not coming up, and all your weight's not in your heel. I hope this helps. It's real simple. Great for new athletes. Uh, just to start getting the routine. Good luck.